Hello everyone, this is Christina and I am the author of the Diary of an Ice Princess chapter book series. I am here to tell you about the latest book in the series. It's called Icing on the Snowflake and I'm going to read to you from the first chapter. So this book is a lot of fun because Lena is going to her very favorite cousin's wedding. Her cousin Wendy is getting married at her granddad's castle and Claudia is also going to come. So it's just going to be super fun. Lots of family. If you've been reading the series and you like all of the magic of the wind tamer family let me tell you everyone in the family gets to have a role in this wedding and of course there are magical snowy hijinks in store for everyone even gusty and he even gets to get dressed up for the wedding in his cute little bow tie so let me read to you from the first chapter this chapter is called to have and to cold so, dear diary, not having any brothers and sisters can get lonely sometimes, but lucky for me, I have a ton of cousins to make up for it. I love all my cousins so much. And that's just like me. I don't have any brothers or sisters, but I have lots of cousins too. But if I had to pick one cousin I wish I could be like when I get older, it would be Wendy. I have always looked up to Wendy. Like everyone in my family, she has magical weather powers. She used to babysit me when I was little, and we had the best time playing together. The thing I love most about her is that even though she is also a royal princess, she likes being silly and isn't afraid to get messy. So there's Wendy and little Claudia. I mean, little Lena. <laughs> I love how little Lena has short hair. It's so cute. Um, I never thought someone could be cooler than Wendy, but I was wrong because her boyfriend, Sonny, is just as awesome. Ahem, I mean her fiancé, Sonny. Diary, I am so excited that Wendy and Sonny are getting married. I hope one day they have adorable babies and then I will get to be the cool older cousin who babysits. There she's imagining being the cool big cousin. Claudia was up at our castle having a play date today when Wendy, Sonny, and my great aunt Eastia flew in. In our family, it's a tradition for the bride and groom to deliver wedding invitations by hand just before the big ceremony. Claudia, you and Lena are getting so big, said Wendy, giving us hugs. What happened to the little girls I used to babysit? At least Gusty is still tiny, said Sonny, as my puppy covered him in slobbery kisses. My mom offered to take great on Eastia's coat. Won't you stay and have tea with us, she asked. I'm afraid we don't have time, said Eastia. We are delivering invitations all over the sky today, and we still have quite a few left. Great Aunt Eastia is the east wind, if you don't remember from the other books. We've been flying all morning, Wendy whispered to me. I need a snack or I'm going to evaporate. Eastia cleared her throat and scowled. Now, I love my great aunt, but she is also very strict about manners. What I meant to say, said Wendy, is that we would be honored to have you attend our wedding ceremony at Granddad's castle. Wendy and Sonny bowed to my mom and dad and then handed them a thick envelope. And then they handed one to Claudia. Claudia gasped. I'm invited too? Of course, said Wendy. You're just like family, so you have to be there. Claudia and I bowed very formally to Great Aunt Eastia. We thanked Wendy and Sonny very politely for inviting us. We walked very gracefully into the other room. And then we jumped up and down and started shrieking. Oh my Glacier's Diary, my best friend and I are going to the royal wedding of the year. Oh, they are so excited. They're going to have a lot of fun. I hope you liked that first chapter. I hope you enjoy icing on the snowflake. Happy reading and I hope to see you soon. Bye.